This is Charlie Parsons for the Stomping Ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and live on the zone. My man, Mr. Showtime, little courtier's number. How are we, sir? I'm good. Shan? Can we, can we start on the, yeah, come on, can we start <laughs> on the right way, Blake? Because uh, I feel like when, when we do our interviews and then you'll get like a little comment like, oh, you can tell Sonny don't like this Parsons fella. But there is like... Oh, they must be reading my thoughts then. <laughs> How's things? All good. All good, we've had a good successful night. Yes. Uh, two for two. Yes, let's go on last night first and then we'll talk about uh, today. Your brother back in the ring, a very emotional moment. I see you close with him in the dressing room before and everything and just how happy are you for him? Everything he's been through to finally just get that one. Yeah, fight. let's let's stop talking about all these things he's been through. You know what I mean? It's just boxing happens sometimes, you pick the wrong conversations and you end up with the wrong people that don't know how to do anything, you know? You find out very quickly that if you're having your own conversations, you find out who talks to you and who don't. And you know, within six months he's back, he's he's had a training camp, he's got good people around him. Um, Swift, he done a fantastic job. It was great to work with him in the corner as well, um, assisting up to him for the first time and hopefully many more times in, in Charlie's career. So, um, yeah, uh, buzzing for him to be back. Um, he's really switched on, he's really enjoying it. Look, he's, he's fought, he's just seen walk past then. Um, he's up here supporting the lads and, and getting his face out and that is his uh, gym mate, uh, Steve. He's uh, about to ring walk in a minute, so yeah. Um, buzzing for him to be back, uh, uh, back where he belongs. We've done that Instagram live a couple of weeks ago and uh, I suppose about a month ago now we spoke about that Thomas Asomba fight. Still something that's potentially there? Oh, 100%. I mean, Thomas won his um, European mandatory. Um, obviously, a few months ago, they're the same weight. My brother's just become WBC Silver International, so why not? It's, it's more on, you know, Charlie and his team making an offer to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, if they do that then fine, if not, we will look uh, what else is there. What's the dynamic like? Because obviously last night you are in your brother's corner, you are in the dressing room before. If that fight happened, you said to me you would be Team Asomba. Is that still the case? Do you know what? It got, I weren't supposed to be in my brother's corner yesterday. Okay. I'll be real. And then um, I ended up doing it. He asked me to do it. It so. seemed very happy families yesterday. Yeah, like of course. Way. And the thing is, it's really, it's really the way it should be. Um, that is the way it should be. Like they're supporting each other, pushing off each other, me benefiting, benefiting of him, him benefiting of me. Um, yeah. Jordan Flynn, Cameron Vaughn, the saga goes on. He had a uh, victory tonight, Jordan. Uh, what did you make of that? You, I think I overheard you say in an interview over there that sometimes against maybe the lesser opponents he's not going to look as good, but then when he has a guy that, he, that can really fight, i.e. Cameron, you'll probably get better out of him. It's not even that. It's like the way he fights. Like he really like just wants to max effort and fight. He doesn't really want to like box or pick shots or he just wants to get in and have a scrap. He is and I think by like bit by bit he is and you can see it coming and coming and coming. But generally who he is as a person, he likes biting down his gun and just go in. Um, but like I said, I've seen him have them same sort of fights against low level opposition. And then I've seen him get in the ring with the highest of a position and it still looked very similar. He's got like a a weird physicality that okay it might not always look aesthetic and, and efficient but when you're the other person opposite it it can be very wild it can be very clubbing he's still fighting when the clinch is going so um, yeah I think he's generally got the ability to really drag Cameron into a fight and I think that's where he wins it I think Cameron is a, a very good boxer but when Jordan sticks to it he, as he showed he, he, he really can box but I think in that fight you know, get on his chest, get on his chest early, um, tire out the 21-year-old and then start setting about him. That's how I would go about it. We see you in a little Spider-Man costume earlier on in the week. You linked up with Brandon Scott. He returned to the ring after a hand injury tonight. Thoughts? Yeah, I thought he did well, especially in the first four rounds. I think he was clearly sort of in cruise control and doing everything that he needed to do. He was landing some really clean, quite spiteful and, and clear as day shot, uh, shot. So. Um, yeah, I feel like the first four rounds, very good. I think, if anything, the thing to work on is not getting carried away with success. We've seen it so many, so many times before. Um, fighters winning heavy first half, 
find himself lacking for gas tank and then everything completely falls off so he had a strong Argentinian that was only in there for six rounds today so those last two rounds um, even though he got bust up a little bit he was really showing his heart and really showing his desire um, but yeah he had to ride it well and, and, and I think he would have learned a lot of lessons in there and like I said yeah as you reminded he's been out of the ring for what over a year um, or nine yeah the year a year I think pretty much just short of um, you know, so you do get and you want to impress, you know, the sort of character he is anyway. Well done, Ant. Um, yeah, you want to impress. Yeah, but a lot to work on, a lot to work with, though. Um, he's definitely a good talent, and you could see even when it was really getting tough in there, when it was really getting tough in there, he was still gritting down and going. Like, he weren't, he weren't looking for a way. He's as well, man, isn't he? Like, do you know what, yeah? Without, without sending shots for anyone because it's not on a personal go on your uh, uh, Instagram app go on to Matchroom's Instagram page yeah okay this is just one little measure but check the views likes comments and shares for the whole of this fight week there's only one video and, that's in, and that includes a Jaren Ennis signing you've got more Reaction views and that. and what I'm saying is, Kate might be a bit stupid. It, it might be a bit works. pathetic, yeah, but, people, that's but what, it's, it's pantomime. Numbers. And for me personally, one, I'll do anything one of my fighters ask me within reason. Putting on a Spider-Man suit isn't that ridiculous, yeah. Two, my phone was ringing as soon as I got out of the the place, and and my son couldn't believe that his dad was unmasked oh. as Spider-Man live on TV. Like he he, he can't believe that. So. Yeah, like remember, okay, oh you look so I'll be a fool to make my kids smile a million times and I don't care. And and also You've my fire as well. Not got stuff, I've got kids soft. man. <laughs> you, every every bad person has good in them and every good person has bad in them. That is everything. Yin and yang. There we go. Um you've signed. Not officially, yes, but I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> he's I'm in, just, he's I've just, just invaded it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what a man, I fucking love him. <laughs> now Pat's my Great guy, you know. Energy. You've had some Great trips, Pat. Energy. Hey, next time you ask Pat, ask him. If you ever if you ever interview him, just ask him if the food was nice the day Lyndon weighed in against Bivol. Just ask him that. That's was all I want to know. Was the food nice? Was the food nice? Okay. Or the you know the night of the weigh-in. On an interview. The night of the weigh-in. Be like, yo, you see that food that you had after was that nice? Just ask him, please. Okay. Um, you say you've not signed. Talk to me. Oh, I know. I don't know what I can say because nothing's when been announced. Out? Um, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, yeah, I've signed. I'll be real, yeah? The footage will go out f over after this. Um, uh, the footage will go out after this um, today. I don't know. I think they want to announce it at some point in the show. but Oh, this ain't going to be out till tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But So, it's, like I said, it should be all done by tomorrow. Um, can we say the name? Curiel. Nice. What do you but think of the fight? At light fly? Fly. Okay. What's your... You want to stay at fly? You want to go down to look like... I mean no, longer it's in... You see me, I'll fight anyone. Yeah? You see me, look at him, movie star, look. Chill out, Come chill jump out, in. movie star. He is Come on. Mr. Jordan <laughs> Flynn. Brother, you Congratulations. Know. Congratulations. You're lucky, hey, hey. Sam Jones is lucky he just scarped off, isn't it? He had done a little joint interview. Jordan, um, happy with your performance? It wasn't the best performance, but it was good to get a few rounds in. Obviously, we was meant to be fighting Cameron. He's been running, so we had to get someone in last minute. And what? he was an awkward opponent. What, you say Cameron. Cameron been running, running, man. Cameron, Cameron. <laughs> Where is he, man? Oh, I think, oh I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> one sec, one more, one more time. Cameron. Cameron. Yes, yeah, straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you know? What did you make of the little back and forth at the end? What did I make? I see the fear in his eyes. Okay. I'll be real, if I was you, yeah, I would have said, get the fuck out of my ring, man. You were supposed to be here. I'll be real, that's I what I'd have said. I can't believe it. I can't believe he's actually got the audacity to pull out it's, and it's, not even fight. It's audacious, he, isn't it? He's, he's here. He's here and he hasn't even fought. What the fuck is he doing here? He does, he, he does live in Manchester, doesn't he? So, mate, mate, he's living here and he's getting booed out the place. He's ran, out, really he's ran out, he's ran and left the venue now. He's gone. He's not here now? Nah, he's, the security had to take him out. Yeah, I did that. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I saw it, but I did not not see it. <laughs> I see it, boy. What happens when you get in the ring? I win. That's what happens. Sonny? He wins. How does That's he what win? happens. How? However he wants to. Ooh. What do you think? 
You think he beats me? I can't answer questions. To be fair, he was saying it to him earlier that he thought. Is he? He was. But uh, but but Andy from IFL said he thinks you're gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, has it been a bit of a frustrating period? Yeah, of course. Because obviously we, you still have your fight day, right? Yeah, but, but it's like been, motivation and stuff is not quite as clear and as... Yeah, we've been preparing for Cameron. Completely different style to that guy that's just got in the ring. He you could know fight I mean? a bit as well. This guy? Yeah, yeah, he could fight, yeah. He would have beat Cameron. What do you think? <laughs> Bro, he would have beat... He would've maybe beat. maybe, Cam, maybe Cam has me, to fight him before on? he gets to you, innit? You know like what? a little Cam eliminator. Yeah, Cameron's got to get through him and then he can fight me. Yeah, maybe like a little eliminator, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameron hasn't been in with someone yet that throws a punch back. He's been in with the punch bags. This guy come to win and he was going for it. You know what I mean? He was a tough guy. Took what some go good shots in him. What go punch back to punch bag? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. But yeah, this guy was this guy was decent, man. And it was good to get some rounds of news. It was meant to be eight, but it was six. But it is what it is. Well, Jordan, congratulations. Thanks, I'm sure man. we'll catch up a little bit later on. Sunny, back to you, my man. Oh, I thought, is that thought that was over? Well, we've not really spoke about Curiel yet, have we? Oh, that's... What do you mean? Oh. Huh. It's the Sonny Edward show. No Woo! one cares about the other person. What, so Sonny against X? Sonny against whoever. Right. Sonny against it doesn't matter. As long as it's not Bam. You know I mean? <laughs> On the card? Yeah. Another little states trip. You're a face in the states. Yeah, do you know what? More, more than in, uh, in the UK, I think. Do you reckon? It was crazy, bro. Like some places I was going, I thought I was getting mobbed. Yeah, in that, people bro. told me about. It was mad, Mo, bro. Was like the love that you had in the states was like mad. Nah, it was kind of mad, bro. Like people saying they named their kids after me and that in Disneyland. It was crazy. It was mad, bro. What, Sunny? Yeah. So I, mad, I named them after you. I swear, it's so crazy, man. I'm trying to think. Edwards Rodriguez. That was actually what the fight was, wasn't it? Which? No, I was gonna say they could have called their son Edwards. And then nah, you, nah, nah, you've yeah. lost me now, come <laughs> Ask a question, man Stop trying to get creative, Chan um, uh, Charlie I think that's it, my boy We look for, How does the fight go? Um, hopefully I'll win this time, man Can't go over there and lose you, again you, you know what, it's refreshing, bro Because, like, you just took it Like a, a man, sh I say should take a loss I don't well, know how, I, didn't have much of a, I didn't have much of a choice Yeah, but, no, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but does everyone act like that? He gave it to me more than I, yeah, more than I took it Does everyone act like that? Um, nah, I think a lot of people are scared of their face deep down. I'm not. I don't like. I like my life. I like who I am. I like the people around me. So, you know, I know. I know what fighting happens. Look, there's ten fights tonight. There's ten winners, ten losers. More time. In Dreamland, how do you plan out the next twelve months? If you could, if you had like a ideal, taking me into 2025. Do you know what? Yeah, I feel like I really want to work on some. Outside of boxing the skills, I don't know, maybe my culinary. Um, oh, swear. Yeah, you, maybe you just add some. Cook? I can, but I'm lazy. Okay. That, that's my problem. It's the laziness for I me. Feel that. Do you know, like, are you like a it's freezer? like not being are able. Like, if you're out of camp, are you a guy? Like, I feel like if you're out, you'll go and eat somewhere nice. But if you're in the yard, you're a freezer food man. Nah, bro, I'll be real. If I'm in the house, yeah, I'm an Uber Eats type of guy. Oh, I feel that, bro. I am a. I am a, from a long, long, long time. I pressed that and not have to think about it. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean. So for a long time, I, feel that. I would say I'm genuinely. You see how girls on OnlyFans have like 0.1% top. Oh, yeah? I reckon, bro. I reckon. In that bracket, for Uber Eats, Eats 0.01%. Wow. Can we I, look at some of your orders? This is brilliant. This is what this is what the people. Yesterday, see. yesterday, I ordered to the wrong hotel. Yeah. In at Manchester. Midnight, no, in London. Oh, that's yeah. Wrong. I ordered an Uber Eats, yeah, it wasn't even food. I ordered an Uber Eats to the wrong hotel. What was it? We need to see some orders. It was groceries. Groceries? Oh no. It was alcohol, Charlie. Okay. Um, but I don't know how you can do it. But what I mean is, yeah. Past orders, bro. So Stop once I realised, once I realised I'd done it, I just said to him, I just said to him, ah, oh, just keep it. Just say, that, say you delivered it and keep it. And I just gave it to him. And then I ordered the exact same thing again from the same shop. But to my hotel. Okay. It's kind of stupid, so really. But I don't know. I'm actually asking orders. Uh, orders. There we are. I'm actually here look. for this, bro. So look, let's, look at the dates, though. Let's look at the dates. Look. So we got, we got. Hold on, hold on. Go up. We got. Come on, show the cap. Seventy-seven quid from Zap twenty-four-seven, and oh, that's cool. the one that didn't deliver. And then you ordered again. Yeah. And <laughs> nah, I'd lock this guy up. <laughs> I do like. Lock this man up. Look, look. The other, I know this was one of my favourites. The other day I had lunch here. Yeah? 
Millie Ron Carter. I was oh, on my own. Oh, what delivery? Delivery was, was banging. Banging. What a steak delivery. Didn't have steak. Would you? Have a look. You a can burger. literally see. I had a burger. Oh, prove it. <laughs> I had a burger. I feel like you're capping, bro. Sticky chipotle chicken and an ultimate oh, fried, fried chicken, chicken burger. burger. Why oh. would I lie about that, Charlie? How, what, a we- what a weird thing to lie about. Why my my Uber Eats order that you're <laughs> that you're asking about. Why am I going to lie about it? Like. <laughs> Any any other interesting ones in there? I'm actually really intrigued. At no, this. it's probably not much interesting. It's no, just but like, oh, it is, bro. Like, I just, I just, yeah. Order. Yeah. I feel like it saves the effort, and time is money. You know what I mean? Show time. Oh, did I just click your fingers? <sighs> that's my claim to fame. <laughs> no, that's my claim to you. I just signed a contract. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't fight that now, because you just bust my hand, bro. Mad too. That was my good hand as so well. Does that mean I've got my punch power yet? No, it means that you're probably <laughs> going to have a, a legal case on your doorstep. I'll be wrong. Sonny Edwards. Pick up yourself. Don't touch that hand again. <laughs> <laughs>